moves toward hermaphroditism, more and more doctors confront the appearance at birth of ambiguous genitalia. Here, in the College of Physicians on the island of Shushu, we will consider the age-old impetus to maintain, for the stability of the body, the two-sex system. In our formaldehyde jars, we see too many examples of surgical adjustments botched by doctors confounded by ambiguous genitalia. In our efforts to cure ourselves of war, we are not eliminating distinctions. Rather, we are discerning, discovering, delineating, making finer, subtler distinctions between individuals in two groups. And if that means giving up one sex for the other, then so be it. Discuss. I love that in the face of adversity, you betray your own. I do. I refuse to engage in men's organized sport activities, and they hate me for it. But there's really not that much difference between men and women. But let me show you. Sorry, uh, really, there's no need to apologize. I've seen this before, the hormones, the nurturing instinct. Uh, I was a mama's boy. I couldn't help myself either. The nurturing instinct was preventing me from fulfilling my purpose in life. I'm a living testament to liberation through releasing my grip on my sexual identity. And by releasing my other grips as well, I'm free. Thank you, Dr. Fricassee. Now, Charlotte, I don't deserve all the credit. Your grip was always tenuous at best. Didn't you once as well have a grasp or two on reality? I once had grips and grasps on sanity and reality back when I used to hold on. Not anymore. I let go, thanks to you. Shall we shake on it? Done. Oh, not again. Damn. That's a mighty grip. That's what my husband used to say through his tears and my vice. Once I squeezed so hard, he said I left him bent. The medical term for that muscle injury is fractured. He insisted you close your legs while he spread his. Was that it? How did you know? He actually made me cross my legs as if to nip him in the bud. He did not hold you precious. He desanctified our love by making me not precious. Unlike here, where it is a rare mixture of biology and genuine affection existing now in time between the two of us. I treasure and hold you precious. With my mentoring, you'll find that the penis growing inside of you will be one of great portent. What do you mean by that, Dr. I mean that we have both masculine and feminine inside of us. And we who reside here at Moon Castle change according to the path of the sun god. During tonight's equinox, I am having my first orgasm of the new season, and I want you to share it. Let's invite the students to share mine with yours. My position is that men and women each should have the opportunity of having both. These years of black and white polarize the world toward killing and exploitation. Our benefactor and willing subject, Charlotte Jameson, has accepted this cause as her own. As men are being phased out as uh, genetic, genetic mutations, we are finding that women are the vessels through which we all must pass. There is no changing childbirth. Many of us have yet to experience these miracles, and I ask cross-genderers to assist us in our studies. I invite all of you here at the castle to join me in my first orgasm of the season. See you downstairs. Charlotte, how did your husband acquire this collection of antique formaldehyde jars preserved uh, over the last century? He traded it for some sort of contraband, I'm sure. Do you have any idea the knowledge that is to be gained from these specimens, acquired as they were in ways that are unacceptable today? The important thing is that they are here at Moon Castle, where they belong. You know, our medical cadavers help us gain access to what is going on inside of us. Uh, so, let's visit our ancestors, shall we? I believe your father is down there. He was my husband. Yes, Charlotte, I believe he was. In that case, there were specific instructions left with his estate regarding the fate of his wife. Are you aware of that? I recall he said he would donate his body to science. Oh, I'm glad someone heard that because he's ours now. In his instructions, he refers to a journal entry. It was from his wife's diary. You know which entry I mean. 